So for this new Halo TV show, there are so many questions to be asked about the future of the lore and this whole silver timeline thing, but I can't help but have just a questionable feeling about the whole thing. I've watched, you know, many YouTube videos breaking it down and, and I've watched, you know, the trailer over and over again, trying to analyze it and see, you know, what things are different, you know, compared to the old Halo lore versus what things are new. And I just keep stumbling upon the same feeling of uneasiness about this series. So we're gonna talk a little bit about Halo and what the future of Halo is with this TV series or you know like what the future of this Halo TV show is gonna be. Just a little bit about maybe what we can expect um, and especially from me coming from like you know a traditional old school Halo fan who sort of grew up on the games and grew up loving the games. We're gonna break it all down. If you're new to my channel definitely consider subscribing. I just started ramping up some videos again on my channel. With all that being said let's get into the video. So yeah, the Halo TV show trailer came out. Now, the first uh, minute or so of the trailer was very exciting. I remember being very happy about it. Seeing Master Chief, he looked awesome. Um, but then when he touched, you know, the, uh, the Promethean artifact or whatever it is that, you know, makes him kind of discover the Halo or whatever it is that's going on there, he kind of seemed a little bit off hearing his voice. Covenant forces appear to be excavating some kind of object. I don't know why they couldn't have get, got Jeff Downs. The only solution I can really come to is that they must be having Master Chief show his face. That's why they have to have an actor so they can actually have someone represent the character. And they've already hinted at it in the trailers by showing the back of his head and things like that. So I'm, I'm you know, sure we can expect to see the Master Chief in full. But yeah, when we first see the Master Chief, that's when I was like, oh, okay. Um, his voice is a little bit different, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. Um, his characterization seems a bit different too. He's definitely a bit more talkative. There's something about the stoicness of Bungie's Master Chief and Bungie's Halo that just has not been able to be recaptured. I'd say Halo Infinite came pretty close, did a fairly good job, but, but there's something about the stoicness of Bungie's Master Chief that just cannot be recaptured and doesn't, you know, isn't present here. So as the trailer moves on, we begin to find out a bit more about the Covenant and we find out that there is sort of this female human that was raised by the Covenant. And I'm not sure, you know, looking at the trailer, if she's like the right hand person of, uh, of, of the High Council or I'm not really sure what's going on there. But if I had to guess based on the just the common themes of shows these days, it's seeming like some of these female characters that are coming in are gonna sort of take over uh, the prominent roles. Like they, they can't just have the Alien and the Covenants be the villain. Uh, they have to have some sort of human female representation to make it more relatable or something like that or make us understand more. It's it's like Godzilla uh, in the MonsterVerse movies, how they always have to have the humans. It's kind of a similar dynamic there. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting, you know, when she's human surrender to the Covenant. But we're going to see. We're going to see how involved this character is. Um, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. But then there's this female character that concerns me the most. Um... And it is it is the female character shown, uh, the rebel or whatever, who is saved by Master Chief. Now, from what I'm hearing from leaks, from rumors um, online circulating, she might be the prominent focus of the show with Master Chief sort of being like a side character, like her savior character. I'm not sure how that's going to go. The sh show is going to follow her or what. I'm really, really hoping that this is not the route that they're going. But I just, I can't help but shake this feeling that maybe it is. But we're gonna see i really just i don't understand how it's so hard for them to just make a halo tv show and base it you know around the story of the games and just bring that to life and give it that cinematic aspect that it already has in the games i mean if you watch the halo 2 anniversary cutscenes, it feels like a movie halo should have this sense of awe and just this sense of just wonder and almost similar in, in a way to uh to star wars but a bit more mysterious i would say it was much much more mysterious with the halo rings and stuff like that and trying to find the history behind the halos i'm not sure why they can't channel that into the tv show and with the trailer having this weird music uh that really threw me off too it's all these things that just sort of give me this this bad vibe but it, it could be good it could be good it could just be an iffy trailer it could just be the way you know that they cut the trailer or whatever 
But I mean, if somebody understands the Halo lore, it's pretty simple. The trailer should have opened with, you know, the Halo music. Should have focused a bit more around Master Chief and should have just focused a bit more around the awe and wonder of the Halo rings, as I said, which they kind of did hone in there on the end. But even the line, you know, when Master Chief says, find the Halo, win the war, just it's it's a big difference from finish the fight and a lot of Master Chief's other famous lines. There's iconic lines that it seems like with that line there at the end of the trailer, they kind of tried to replicate it and they just couldn't. But I don't know, you guys drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this Halo TV series and if you're excited for it. I just kind of had to put my little bit of analysis out there on it and just kind of get my thoughts out on it. I didn't want to type up a full essay on it. I may, be in the, I may do that in the future but these are just sort of my circulating thoughts on what is coming or what I am anticipating with this show. And 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 one final thing, the look of Cortana, I'm like, ugh, it's not hard to just bring the character model into live action. It would be nice just for them to have the blue AI model similar to the way she looked in the games. We're gonna see how the performance is. The original voice actor for Cortana did phone in a performance here uh, because I guess the other, the actor who actually plays Cortana in the show had complications. But yeah, we're going to see how it all goes, guys. Drop your uh, comments down below if you are into Halo. Let me know what you think about this TV series. Um, I, I may type up a full essay in the future on it. I definitely want to maybe do some reviews on the Halo TV show when it comes out. But that's really all I have for this video, and that's really most of my thoughts on the Halo TV show right now. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on it. Definitely subscribe if you're new, like the video, comment, all that good stuff helps out the YouTube algorithm. And until the next video, be safe and stay well. Bye bye guys. The Atomic Fave. Imagine if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.